Sorry guys, I haven't been posting in like a week consistently. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I should have been posting consistently. I was so busy with my, uh, so I, I went on a trip to Montana. I was so busy with my, uh, like hanging out with my family and stuff and like going outside and doing, we were doing all this stuff and like I wasn't even consistent on my Bible plan. I should have been, but I, I'm caught up with my Bible plan now and I'm consistently doing it. Um, so sorry about not being able to post for you guys in a while. My last two videos flopped because I did not post them at a good time. Also, let me check the time real quick. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to release this in time for today either, but I'll try to release it at a decently reasonable time for today. Um, so, um, I'm actually gonna try and like separate this video into sections and stuff, make it a bit more professional. I am gonna not stutter as much and all that and I hope you guys watch until the end of the video and um, pay attention to the whole video. Sorry, I saw a fly. Um, that was me, me currently not paying attention. Um, I hope you guys watch the whole video and like actually take something from this. I'll probably make it under 20 minutes or 20 minutes or something. I'll eventually move up to 30 minutes and so forth and all that good stuff. Um, but thank you guys for tuning into this video and I hope you enjoy it. It's just me recording and talking about my experiences and how they can help you and how you can learn from them. So um, today I'm going to be talking about cold showers and like their benefits and my experience with it. So um, I like you like <clears throat> okay um Sorry, I need to drink water. So why cold showers are good is because, um, why cold showers are good for you is because they, like first off, if you do them in the morning, they, they wake you up. You can work out more intensely uh, if you're, uh, consistently taking cold showers, you will work out more intensely. It's just it. And also when you're taking cold showers, make sure to not like shiver up and be like a little wuss, you know, like enjoy the coldness and like embrace it. Okay. Like just like make, also make sure when you first go in a cold shower or whatever, like try to just like cover your, like get water in your head because that starts up the prop so like when you get extremely cold or extremely hot if you get extremely cold your internal uh core body temperature will heat up if you get extremely hot it'll do the opposite your internal body temperature will get colder and so afterwards you'll feel hot from the shower um if you do it long enough um at least in my experience like your like your core will feel hot like you'll feel you'll warm up pretty quick um, cause that's where your, your body's like, oh, I'm cold. I better heat up. So, um, like just enjoy the cold shower. Just be in it. Just like, don't just go quickly and stuff. Like actually like bathe yourself and wash yourself like nice and slow. Like, you know, like actually clean yourself <laughs> when you're in the shower. Cause you still gotta like have good hygiene. It's disgusting to not have good hygiene. You gotta do that. Enjoy your cold shower. Don't, like, it's okay. Like, if you don't want to do it, still do it anyways, because it's good for you. And I, I know that's cliche, but like, it, it is. It has a bunch of health benefits. If you want, like, more detailed, scientifically explained information, um, then you can go check out Andrew Huberman. He has a lot of stuff on cold showers and on uh, hot saunas. Um, both of those are really good. I think what he does is he does five minutes in a cold bath, and then or five minutes in an ice bath, and then he does 
10 minutes in a sauna and switches back and forth. And he does that every morning, I think. Uh, I don't remember, but it was on a Joe Rogan podcast with Andrew Huberman in it. Uh, they were talking. I'm going to center myself more. And um, that's that's where I learned uh, most of my culture stuff from before. I also knew, like, before, like, learning all this, I was just like, cold showers are good for you, because, like, that's what my parents said. And I, I didn't do them a lot. I did it, like, three times in a row, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this feels so good. But I, I wasn't doing it correctly. I was just, like, going fast as I could, just trying to get out of there. And then I was, like, super, like, I had this adrenaline spike right after doing it. And, uh, yeah, you're supposed to just, like... Like, just like an ice bath, cold showers, you're supposed to just bathe yourself. And I don't know if people bathe themselves in ice baths, but in a cold shower, you, you bathe yourself and you just stay in there for like five to ten minutes. Like, not don't do a crazy quick shower, just five to ten minutes. Enjoy the cold. Be in it. Don't tense up because then it's not going to help you as much. It's a... It's also about like being able to withstand uh, colder temperatures. So that's another useful thing. You can just make your body more resistant to that temperature. Um, and you gotta be consistent with it. You can't just do it, oh, I'm just gonna do it like every other day or every other night. Um, you gotta do it consistently. You gotta do it like every morning, every night, take a cold shower. It's, it's okay if you just do uh, every morning cold shower, if you do a, like a super, like a more hot, like a hot shower, not a warm, comfortable, like a hot, uncomfortable shower late at night because it, it, um, it loosens your muscles and relaxes you and it heals your muscles. So, but cold showers, they like, fl they toughen, they harden your muscles. Um, and so that's really good for making workouts uh, more intense and you'll perform better, you'll do better, you'll go farther in your workout if you take cold showers before a workout. Like what I do right now is I wake up, I go in the cold shower, five to ten minutes. I I mean before that I, like, I go to the bathroom and check my weight, but that's um, an another whole nother story. Um, but. I go in there, I check, I, I check my weight, I go to the bathroom and all that, and then I take my cold shower, I stay in my cold shower, and all, remember to get water on your head first when you go in, because that starts up the core body temperature thing. That's, that gets you, um, it's more intense when it hits your face and head, um, because I don't know, <laughs> just bro science for me, because um, I, I haven't researched uh, super intensely into this, but you, it gets really cold if you, if you go in there and you start off with your head, but then it raises your core body temperature, which makes the whole experience easier to do, and uh, that's how you do it correctly. So, <clears throat> um, be consistent. Do it correctly, enjoy it, don't stay in there too long. Uh, I might actually make this video like fif under 15 minutes, maybe under 10, I don't know. But my experience with this, um, I, uh, I'll, I'll link Christian's video on the channel too, um, my friend Christian. He made a cold shower video not too long ago and now I do cold showers like I enjoy cold showers I don't I used to just like turn it on I didn't even turn on the cold all the way I'll just like turn it like kind of cold you know right there like there's hot there's super cold and then there's medium I turned it like that way like 45 degrees and so I wasn't doing it correctly I was just like I was being a pussy that that's that's all I can say about it that I was and so I wasn't doing correctly um but now I am doing it correctly uh, after watching his video, and now I fully understand it, and cold all the way, take your time, enjoy it, well, you don't have to enjoy it, but take your time, and be in it long, and don't just, like, try to get out, like,
like what what I do. This is just me. I'm kind of weird. But like I'll I'll go in the shower. I'll like stand in it. I'll I'll let it hit my face and stuff. Like the shower head's right there. I'll let it hit my face and stuff. I'll look up into it as long as I can uh, until I like run out of breath because I'm holding my breath when I'm looking at it so I don't get water in my mouth. And then I like get on my front part and then I do like the side, get my head and stuff. I do the back, head and stuff. And then the other side and stuff. I'll, I'll do that for a few minutes and that gets my whole body cold, you know, and trying to control, an another huge thing, trying to control your breathing while you're doing it is so good. Um, before I did started doing cold showers, I've done cold plunges. I've done two cold plunges before this. One was in a not crazy cold, <clears throat> one was in a not crazy cold. It was in Tennessee where I live right now. Um, just in a kind of, it was in winter time, but the winter time in Tennessee is nothing here. It's nothing. So, um, I took a cold plunge. It was, it was hard for me at first cause I've never like done a cold plunge or anything. Uh, but then I was able to do it. And then the next time, um, I hiked, uh, five, it's a five, five miles up, five miles down, not crazy hike, a uh, 10 mile round trip. So I hiked up five miles into the mountain um, in Montana, and it was so beautiful. And we went to the, uh, it was a frozen lake. There was still ice, like little icebergs still in the water. And um, it was like the start of summertime or something. But you know, it's Montana, it's cold and it's hot, <laughs> depending on the day. And uh, so I, w I went and I went in my underwear, I walked in. I didn't do like a full cold plunge. I stayed in there for 30 seconds though. I kept my head under and held my breath under there for 30 seconds. And uh, yeah, that was really cold. But afterwards I was so energized. I, me, me and my family, we just like zipped down the mountain, like so much energy. I, I just cruised down the mountain, it was so much easier. And I was like, holy cow, I need to start like doing cold showers. and cold plunges all the time because they wake you up. Yeah, they're hard to, and also I had to control my breathing because you can't freak out. You have to control your breathing. So, um, and then I also, I've also done where I sat in a hot tub. Uh, my uncle and aunt's hot tub, I went in there, I sat in their hot tub for like 20, 30 minutes, maybe an hour, I don't know. I was just chilling in there for a long time. It started getting getting hot. Then my dad was like, I'll pay you five bucks if you go make snow angels for 30 seconds in the snow in Detroit in winter time. And so I was like, all right, I bet. And then I went I went into the snow in my swim shorts. No no shirt, nothing, nothing, like just my swim shorts. And I was just making snow angels for 30 seconds. And it was so cold, so cold. It was, since I would just came out of hot tub too, it was just like stinging, it felt like needles poking everywhere on my body it was so painful but afterwards i was like super like woken up and stuff and i was like holy cow that was amazing then free five dollars too so <laughs> but yeah I i've had pretty good experiences with uh polar plunges cold showers um i really want to buy an ice bath i mean you could just make one go buy a horse tank Get some ice from your freezer, make some ice, and dump it in. Then you got an ice bath. It's pretty easy. So, but if you like the regulated temperature ones, they're like hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars. So, those are pretty expensive. But what you can do at home right now is you can go and take a cold shower. So, you don't, you don't need to pay for anything crazy. You'll save hot water for your family. It's not going to take cold showers because. They're not on self-improvement like you and me, unless they are. That'd be cool. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys have a great day and God bless.